A little over a year ago, Danya Snyder was a typical toddler until her parents noticed something unusual about her right eye. You could see a little flash of a, of a fleshy piece kind of through her pupil. That fleshy piece was a tumor, retinoblastoma, cancer of the eye. As parents, you, you hear cancer, and if you don't have it in your family yet, it's a, it's a bubble bursting of a, of, a, of a world that you didn't know was so protected. Retinoblastoma is often cured by simply removing the eye. But then, of course, a child is rendered blind on that side. And despite the tumor, Danya's vision was still good. So her parents decided to try to save her eye. Often that means intravenous chemotherapy with all the associated side effects like nausea and hair loss. But doctors at Boston Children's Hospital had something relatively new to offer, intra-arterial chemo or IAC. If you go right to the blood vessel supplying the target organ, even though the dose to the tumor is very high, you can actually give an, a total dose that's quite low, so the rest of the body is not seeing all that, that much drug. So they don't get adverse events, they don't have any side effects. Danya is placed under general anesthesia, which can take some negotiation. While asleep, doctors thread a tiny catheter through the groin, through the carotid artery, and into the ophthalmic artery, then inject drugs directly into the eye. The next day, she can essentially go back to being a kid. Last year, Danya underwent four treatments with good success. Then the tumor came back, but doctors haven't given up. So she's back at Children's for another go. I'm actually quite optimistic with her. And while her parents are also optimistic, they know that ultimately the most important goal is to save her. I know that Danya will be successful in whatever she does and if she doesn't have her eye, if she does have her eye, I think she'll be fine. Dania is expected to undergo one more round of intra-arterial chemo, and doctors should know in about six months if the tumor is gone. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBC News.